Welcome to another DDI CADcast. My name is Maurice Cherian, and today we will be covering what's new in SolidWorks 2014 for CircuitWorks. I'll go ahead and get started with the slides. The first thing I'm going to go over is how to associate and disassociate CircuitWorks components with SolidWorks models. It's a very direct way of doing it, and you can actually now delete the model if you do disassociate it from a, a CircuitWorks component. The second thing I'm going to show is the CircuitWorks setup wizard, which will help you set the file locations for your component libraries, especially if you wanted to have this on a network drive. And then also show you some of the parts you can download that are more detailed than the regular boxy shaped parts that you would get. The component wizard is something you can add SolidWorks components to the library, multiple components if you wanted to, and it'll help you get the orientation right. Next I'll go over the CircuitWorks expert wizard, which is a way to bring in boards and components back into CircuitWorks so you can actually send that back over to the ECAD group. And it'll help you to identify the different things on the components that are important so you don't have to know all the syntax of how to import that in. So a real big, a real big improvement on some of the interface with these wizards. And then I'll show how flow simulation is now integrated with CircuitWorks where you can actually import some of the thermal properties in from the ECAD data. So I'll go over to SolidWorks now and show you this functionality. The first thing you want to know is that CircuitWorks is available here up on the drop down list if you never used it before. It is a premium add in. So I'll go ahead and open up a sample file. There are some sample files available. The sample files are available under the program files directory. So this board here has 20 plus components on it and I'll select the first one in the list. If I right click now you'll see there's associate and disassociate. Those are two new functions for 2014. If I associate a file I can select one from the list here that makes sense. And what's nice about it is when I click on it now it's going to associate it directly. It associates it directly and if I ever wanted to I can disassociate the model. If I disassociate it it will actually let me also delete the associated part file too. So that's new functionality for 2014. It's a real direct way of linking the component with the SolidWorks part. I'll go back to the slides. Another new function is CircuitWorks Setup Wizard. The Setup Wizard will help you locate where your your library is going to be your component library and your board library so this is a very nice step-by-step -step way of setting up your file structure for your libraries so let me go ahead and show you that there's two ways to get to the options one quick way is just to go directly here and pick CircuitWorks options if you've already have CircuitWorks open you can click up in the upper left hand corner and get to options this way too. And when I go to options and now when I go to options you'll see there's a new button here it says CircuitWorks Setup Wizard. I'll click show wizard here and it will bring up a dialog box and it has the library location, component matching and then we can actually copy files and make a new copy or I can download components. So I'll go ahead and say next here. So the first thing is, is where do you want to have your location? You can browse and put up on a network drive. You can see there's the database, components, board, outlines. So you can see there's all these different directories here. I'll go ahead and leave it on the default location but you could map it to a network drive. Also the matching options. How do you want it to match? Package name, part number, component height, you can download some files here from 3D Content Central. You can actually go and visit the website. I've already downloaded the file, so I'll skip that step. And now I'll go ahead and finish up this. And so again, that was under the 
component setup wizards on the first page of the general options. I'll bring up a Windows Explorer so you can see these files. So under components here, under program data, SOLIDWORKS, CircuitWorks components, this is where the library is located at. And you can see I have already pre uh, previously downloaded these files. You can see some of the resistors have a lot of detail in them. And you can see they're not just boxes, they're more uh, detailed components. And they show really nice when you place them on your boards and will show better when you're making your marketing brochures and, and making manuals and instructions and drawings. So very nice automated way of getting more detailed components. So I'll go back to the slides. The next thing I'm going to show is a component wizard which is a way to step by step go through the steps needed to add a SOLIDWORKS component to the CircuitWorks library. I'll go back to CircuitWorks to show you this functionality. The component library is accessible from the CircuitWorks drop down here. I'll click on component library and you'll notice that the new functionality is file, add components. It brings up this component library wizard. This library component wizard is new for 2014 so you can see it has select the component or components, define orientation, you can define the part number and package name and then also do you want to leave the file in the original location or do you want to move it over to the component library and I'll go ahead and start by clicking on next now in this case I have one part in my on my desktop I could have multiple parts but just to show you one I'm just showing you one to, for time purposes so here I'll go ahead and select OK I'll move the file over and now when I select it I'll go ahead and hit next and the orientation is very important you want to have these placed in the correct fashion on your on your board so usually the positive Z is the up direction and so I'll, I'll leave the XY plane as the positive here so I'll go ahead and click next and now it's going to ask me either to get the properties from the file name or get the properties from a, a, from property mapping in this case from the custom properties I'll go ahead and click on custom properties so you can see the how the interface works in this case in this case do I want to leave the files in the original default library folder or do I want to leave the files where they originally were located and then also it's going to prompt me if there's anything if any information missing I'll go ahead and click next here and when I click on adding files it's going to know that I am missing some information so I'll go ahead and put that information in here package name and part number and now it's going to tell me that it's been added I'll click finish and now when I go back down to the library here you'll see that located here so here's that component here's the component name here's the part number and then you can see all the information about it CircuitWorks will now use this model instead of a standard boxy generic shape model for the assembly when it creates it in SOLIDWORKS I'll go back to the slides the next thing I'm going to show you is a CircuitWorks export wizard which will help you correctly identify features so that it could be used back on the ECAD side of development let me go ahead and show you this in CircuitWorks so I have a file up here that is a, a is going to represent a motherboard or circuit board for a cell phone here and so you can see I have some of the information already filled out correctly MPTH stands for non plated through hole plated through hole here's a board outline but now I know the syntax but not everybody knows all this these different syntaxes for the board and for plated holes and things like that so I'm going to go ahead and and mess up the uh, the actual syntax on purpose here now in circuit works it has this export to circuit works now in this case it's going to bring up a wizard and now I'll push pin the wizard here so it's over here by where the task pane normally is so the first question it's going to ask me is this a board is this an electrical component mechanical component and I'll go ahead and select board 
and I'll click next. And now it's going to ask me the one of the most important questions is what is the top surface? What is the up direction or the top face? And so I'm going to select that. So that's probably one of the most challenging things for people to get right when they try to import these files back and forth. So I pick the face. I'm going to click next down here at the bottom. And now it's asking for the silhouette edges. Since I changed that from board underscore outline, you can see it doesn't show here. It says use silhouette edges. So if I was to actually change that to the correct syntax, you would see it would pick up here. So I can use the silhouette edge or the board outline. So either one will work. So you can see that you don't have to know that syntax. The next one is correct. NPTH stands for non-plated through holes. And then the next one here is plated through holes. So you can see that this stuff was already correctly placed into the, the feature tree here and named correctly. But if it's not, it will prompt you on how to set those things correct in this wizard. So the last thing here is I got the place keep out component keep out area but there's other ones there's via keep out area there's also component keep in area so you can see there's multiple things you can put in these sketches I'll go ahead and click next and you can see it goes down the line here so I'll go ahead and copy I can copy this over to the the circuit works board folder if I want to I'll click next to finish this up and now what's gonna happen is now it's gonna bring up circuit works and now you can see now I have all that information here's the outline how many layers I have here's the plated holes and you can see they all highlight the way they should and so all this information was brought over here's that component keep out area now the last thing I can do with this is if I wanted to I can click on save as and I have multiple formats I can save it in that pro step EDMD format. I can save it in any of the IDF formats, which will have a, an EMN or BRD extension. So I can send this back over to the ECAD group or department for them to use this file to get a little bit of back and forth between the two ECAD and MCAD groups. So I'll go back over to the slides now. So the next thing I want to talk about is SOLIDWORKS flow simulation integration where now there's some settings inside of CircleWorks to allow custom properties in this case thermal properties material properties to be transferred directly for some of this ECAD data directly into the flow simulation studies so some of those studies need properties like the, uh, the specific heat thermal conductivity so you can see all the different properties now that can come over from circuit works data over to a flow simulation study now there is some settings I'm going to show you here under properties there's some import settings and these are all new settings for 2014 of circuit works and then down the bottom here I have the instructions on how to actually import the data into a flow simulation study now we do have a webcast that was already created up on our website at ddicad.com slash tech center and it does have the the steps annotated in the beginning of that video or that CAD cast and that's under what's new flow simulation so now I'll go back over to CircleWorks to show you where these settings are and where these property values are so I'll go back over to CircleWorks to the options and now you'll notice that there is a property setting so I'm going to check this one off. This is going to be the one for the board models. And then this one is the one for the component models. So now if I go into open up a new CircleWorks uh, model or go to component library. So if I go to the component library. You'll now see the material density, specific heat, thermal conductivity you'll see that actual you'll see those actually in here you can see them in this location now and then also if you go to open up a, an ECAD file 
if you click on properties now you will now see those 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 fields are available now and if the information was transferred over you would see that get filled out and those are custom properties let's go back over to the slides so one of the things they've also added was the support for ProStep EDMD format that's the 3.0 format and it does have an IDX or IDZ extension so the Z is a compressed format so let's go through that so when I go back over to the options one of the options that's been added is under ProStep EDMD you can see the default file format you have IDX and IDZ so you can pick which one you want you can say use ProStep here and then the ProStep is a way to be able to interact with the electrical group and the mechanical group being able to to talk back and forth and do some back and forth with the design cycle the design process here so you can see email based communication so you can turn this on and so now when you go into open up one of these files here and now you can see here if I can go ahead and sync with e, ECAD and you'll see now it'll let me add and respond back and forth between here so here's an IDX format if I change that and toggle that that setting it will use IDZ so you can you can have it use a, an archive or compressed format too so this is how you can go back and forth between your the ECAD and the MCAD groups so we can sync those up go back over to the slides so one of the last couple things I want to show you is that when you're sorting through your information when you're looking in circuit works you can tell to show the sort by ECAD part number or by ECAD part name so you can sort differently when you're actually opening up these files so let me show you what that setting is in circuit works so go back into the options and again this is another new option here so under general I can say I want to sort unsorted ascending descending I can say I want it to be by component name or part number so I can tell it what the um, it's gonna be so I can say part number here and component name here so I can switch that up so when I do go to open up a file I'll be able to see So the sorting will be different depending on that setting here. One of the last things I want to show is the user interface improvements, including being able to multi-select components, pan, zoom to fit, zoom to area. You can do a lot of these things now with your middle mouse button. So let me go ahead and show you that functionality. So a lot of these things you used to have to do, you used to have to go to the preview area to do the, you know, most of these manipulations and bottom view and things like that. But now you can use the middle mouse to scroll, zoom in and out. Middle mouse, hold it down, pans. And then a fast double click on the middle mouse does a zoom to fit. And then also if you right click in here, you get those same things, zoom to fit, zoom to area. You can pan. And one of the nice ones here is bottom view. You can just right click and get to bottom view and top view. You used to have to go to the preview window up here to do that. So you don't have to use that anymore. So again, middle mouse does the zoom in and zoom out and the other one that's really nice is the the multiple select you can now with shift or control actually select multiple components at the same time and if you want to you can click on properties and you can look at the properties at, at you know with multiple components highlighted at the same time here so you can highlight them with shift select or control select to pick multiple components and you can see again the, the component properties will come up over here. So that's going to finish up our webcast today. Thank you for watching this CADcast. For more CADcast topics, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ddicad or our tech blog at ddicad slash techcenter. Thanks again for watching.